Hello, Roger Simukalele here from Shiabite Uganda. This is a quick update uh, about the Shiabite CBC report system. So uh, we received this uh, letter from NCDC uh, a few days ago, uh, giving guidance on reporting learn achievement. You see, when uh, guidance about uh, end of year assessment came up, uh, schools now had to think of how to report about it in the report card. So. Uh, in the first version of the report system that had uh, created, uh, the eight level grading scale was missing. And um, but now uh, NCDC has provided this letter uh, with a number of uh, suggestions here, and that there is also a sample uh, report card here, in addition to um, the activities of integration uh, that have been reported, even with the first sample which was released. Now there is um, a section for um end of year performance where the formative score uh which is computed from the activities of integration then the 80 percent end of year uh then the grade is now uh in the new culture in all in all level we have been using uh d1 d2 uh, credit cd but now we are having a b c d like uh yeah similar to what we have in a level but now here it is the uh, an eight level grading scale going up to g as uh, elaborated here so this is a new change this is a new change that has been there so uh the shabita cbc system is very very flexible even if we have new guidelines coming up tomorrow it is going to be very easy to update so when you get um when you only at 100,000, if you get it you will be able to um uh, extract so this is uh, the latest version of the Shabita CBC system. So I've extracted, so this is the file I've extracted. So this is what you receive on email. Uh, when you pay, I send you that, and then uh, you'll extract. Yeah, so inside these uh, NCDC guidance is there, and then there's this folder here, uh, Shabita CBC system. So this is the, uh, really what you're going to get um, when you um, uh, run and uh, you will be able to find uh, a sample now of the latest version now um, it is still four pages so I've tried to compress so even when you see this uh, NCDC sample has around seven pages I've tried to um, utilize all the space available uh, to make sure that um, at least we have paper saved you can have uh, in four pages uh, a report card having all the content as required in the in the CBC uh, report recommend, recommendation. So the three pages have the reporting about the activities of integration and the genetic skills and max. And then there is also a key here of the um, uh, uh, definitions of key terms. Then in the last page, which is page four, also I put uh, a photo here because many schools were asking for this as well. And then there is um, uh, the grading now the grading is there is there now the eight level grading has been programmed so a learner once you put in the marks you should be able to bring uh, this and then you'll be able to get this this is fully customizable as you can see uh, like I said earlier you open uh, the data entry sheet uh, that is data entry sheet is the one where the marks are put uh, the, the, the comments the scores are put inside this uh, data entry and you can be able to duplicate the same for another class if this is senior one you can copy and paste and get for senior two uh, for senior three uh, there is also a readme here that are uh, included uh, within the cbc uh, folder here which has uh, guidelines on on how to do everything so you can create the file for other classes entering marks and also there are some support resources here uh, the tutorial, this tutorial and other tutorials on how to use the system, uh, the syllabus books in case you don't have, we have them on shareability and also office if you don't have office. At least 2013, I'll put a link for downloading. So those are some support uh, resources and um, once you open the data entry sheet, uh, you'll be able to see something like this. Um, you'll be able to see uh, an area where you'll be able to submit the marks for uh, the, the the class teacher will be able to find 
um, uh, a sheet here for the class teacher and the class teacher will have to put in uh, the names of the students here so now it is uh, this has also been updated so if i put in here uh, peace okay i put in peace here okay i put in peace okay okay so if i put in peace here automatically it should be able to uh, pick peace and put it put her on these other pages english history so as you can see you can be able to put uh, the uh, the lean number the name of the student uh, the name of the photo here you can be able to, uh, to to put the name of the photo and just like it i demonstrated in the previous tutorial okay so this is a brief one i'm really not going into details a lot but you just put in uh, the, then the subject teachers can be able to put in the uh, the marks uh, there for scores for activities of integration and the comments and up to the electives okay so the moment you put in the other side it will be able to come here uh, this accommodates up to 500 learners so it would be better you do a class by class don't put um very many classes in one sheet so you have that then after that um you captured the details of the learner and the content and the um, activities of integration the data entry sheet is closed and uh, after that you go ahead and you open the um, the um, the, the um, uh, report system here so it is going to open in publisher and uh, it is going to ask uh do you want to access external data you say yes and then it is going to you say try to reconnect to data source and then you go ahead and you browse this you do this only for the first time the next time it will just open and then you go ahead and open uh, version 4 of the Shabita CBC system you select the data entry sheet if you are doing for senior 2 then you will select senior 2 and then here you select shareability.net sheet uh, and then you'll be able to click on continue and um, then it is going to load uh, your report your report okay so as you can see uh it is already connected and um this one here is having this is the first section here so you can be able to see that this is you can edit these topics in case that your school has done different topics you can be able to edit those uh it is very flexible very flexible system you can edit those topics for those of senior two you change if you are modifying you duplicate the same uh publisher file and uh, edit for senior two topics in case you want to generate and uh on this last page as you can see the grades are now coming uh accordingly basing on the ncdc uh format that is being requested uh, requested as usual you can be able to change the logos it is very flexible uh some people are telling me you know for us we don't have these projects at this time if you don't have projects at this time you can remove you can remove the section very flexible you just go to layout and then you uh, delete row mm -hmm. you delete row ah, and you remove the project section if you don't have it right now uh, and you don't want to keep it redundant there maybe learners are going to do projects later on so you can be able to modify your report card uh it is a hundred percent flexible yes uh, so basically that is it uh, and uh, you'll be able to have uh, under mailings you can see i can now go to the second learner I can go to the third learner. You can see uh, it has brought the Kahuku rose. If I go there, if I proceed, I should be able to go to um, uh, Najodo piece. As you can see, it has brought her here as well. The new learner that I just put in. So when you are to print, you can first click on edit recipients list. And uh, sometimes if you have pasted even empty spaces, it might generate reports for empty spaces. But here, you can go ahead and deselect all and then only select those the particular candidates or students whom you want to even if they are 80 you can select them and those that you don't want to generate reports so that it doesn't make very many and then from there you can go ahead and uh, finish merge and uh, finish merge and uh, merge to new publication and then it is going to generate now your reports into a, a fresh 
publication file which is going to have all the reports so you can do that and then after that you'll be able to save them as a pdf and you'll be good to go so um this is a very simple system very affordable and that is using a uh, software that we already have and we are familiar with so if you want uh to uh teach us to enter max online there are those who are saying is it an online system it is also possible you can get your mark sheets the other mark sheets and put them like on google drive and share with the teachers they fill in max it is possible to still have uh, your max entered maybe online the data entry sheets for a given subject can be extracted and um and then they, they are sent to teachers otherwise you can just do it offline uh you put like on the staff room computer and uh you put the data entry sheets and uh, teachers fill in after they are filled in then you can go ahead and connect it to the report system and generate your reports this is something that you can do if you have the content which you can do just within a day and you are ready to have your reports ready so it is really simple uh no need no nothing like maybe a server or anything and in case there is uh any any new change maybe in the grading or whatever you you can even modify this you can give me a call i can direct you on how uh we you can be able to have the new changes and um anytime we shall be giving updates about the system yeah so uh thank you very much that is uh,